Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. This video has general information about the differences between naturally occurring sugars and sugar alcohols. Some naturally occurring sugars include honey, cane and beet sugar, agave nectar, and maple syrup. Three major nutrients provide energy, fats, protein, and carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are classified as sugars, starches, and fiber. Sugar and starches provide 4 calories a gram and fiber 0 calories. Classifications of sugar and starches include mono, di, poly, and oligosaccharides. Generally, carbohydrates are your body's main source of fuel. Many overweight and obese individuals obtain too many calories from refined carbohydrates. Current nutrition facts labels list total carbohydrates, fiber, and sugar. Instead of total carbs, some very low carb diet plans use net carbs. For example, keto and paleo diet plans may allow between 10 to 60 grams of net carbs a day versus 10 to 60 grams of total carbs a day. This allows low carb dieters to eat more low carb, high fiber foods like vegetables. Fiber providing zero calories is subtracted from total carbohydrates. So net carbs equals total carbs minus fiber. Many low carb prepared foods are neither high fiber nor vegetables. How do you make a food that looks like a sugar sweetened candy bar acceptable for a low carb diet? One way is to sweeten it using sugar alcohols instead of sugars. For these foods, net carbs is calculated by taking total carbs and subtracting fiber plus sugar alcohols. That makes this protein bar appear to have 2 grams of net carbs. Sugar alcohols like erythritol are man-made sugar substitutes. Sugar alcohols do occur in nature but the amount in fruits and vegetables is too small for mass consumer consumption. Sugar alcohols are mass produced by hydrogenating sugars like glucose and sucrose or starches. Hydrogenation is also used to convert oils into margarine. Adding hydrogen to sucrose produces a sugar alcohol. During digestion, pure glucose is absorbed directly through your small intestine while your liver must break down sucrose into glucose and fructose. Your body can use the glucose immediately for fuel while the fructose must be converted to glucose. Some diabetics use high fructose agave nectar because it is absorbed at a much slower rate than table sugar. Unlike sugar that is totally absorbed, sugar alcohol calorie absorption ranges from near zero up to 50% of calories. Sugar alcohols have 4 calories a gram but they act more like dietary fiber than sugar. Sugar alcohols have a more complex chemical structure than sugar and alcohol. Sugar alcohols can usually be identified by the TOL ending. Unlike artificial sweeteners that can be hundreds of times sweeter than sugar, sugar alcohols tend to be less sweet. Unlike artificial sweeteners, some sugar alcohols are approved for cooking and baking, but you may have to use more sugar alcohol to achieve the same level of sweetness using sugar. Since sugar alcohol absorption is like eating high fiber carbohydrates, they do not produce blood glucose spikes like most sugars. But that does not mean that sugar alcohols are zero calorie like artificial sweeteners. Comparing the glycemic index of common sugar alcohols to table sugar shows maltitol is about 50% the GI of table sugar. The sugar alcohol with the lowest GI providing almost zero calories is erythritol. Going back to our protein bar, does it actually have 2 grams of net carbs? According to the ingredients list, the only sugar alcohol is maltitol and the glycemic index for maltitol is about 50% that of table sugar. Due to its GI, the simple equation for net carbs doesn't apply. 
For foods made with only maltitol, you need to exclude one half of the sugar alcohol. Instead of two grams of net carbs per bar, you're actually getting about 12 grams of net carbs. 12 grams is significant if you are on a very low carb diet. You'd have to eat 300 grams of broccoli to obtain the same 12 net carbs in this 60 gram protein bar. Some sugar alcohols are not without side effects. They can cause gas, bloating, diarrhea, and cramps. Most side effects are caused by the oligosaccharides in sugar alcohols. Oligosaccharides are the gas-producing sugars in beans. Some low-carb bars have added fiber that can contribute to gas and bloating. If you use sugar alcohols on a daily basis and experience gas or bloating, try reducing the amount in your diet. Some takeaways are that sugar alcohols for consumer use are made by hydrogenating sugars and starches. Sugar alcohols do not cause blood glucose spikes, but most are not zero calorie. Unless the product is 100% erythritol, include one half of the weight when calculating net carbs. Because some sugar alcohol calories are not used for fuel, it can become food for gut bacteria, causing gas, cramps, and bloating. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.